we are learning about socket programming. This one is Visual Studio code to learn this Python program. One is UDP client server program and another one is TCP client server program. Those are explained in our lecture PPT, but to understand better, I am explaining here in advance. To understand uh, briefly, this one is server program that should be ready to receive some lowercase character string from the client. Then it is converting to the uppercase character string and send back to the client. Just let's look at this one first. I am running this server, uh, UDP server program in this way, py server u, that is the uh, Python program, server program, and I'll execute. Then you can see this computer network UDP server example. That is the output of this print. And uh, the server is ready to receive. Also, that is the output of this character string. The server is ready to receive. Then this is ready to receive lowercase character string from the uh, client. Okay, I will enlarge this one. And here, this one is a client terminal, and I can put in the py client UDP program and the Python. Then uh, I'll execute that. Then you can see this computer network UDP client example. That is described here. This is the print output, comnet UDP client example. Next message is, this one is ready to receive the input from the user. Input lowercase sentence. Input lowercase sentence here. Then you can put in uh, any alphabet lowercase character string. For example, A, B, C, D, E, F, like that. That is lowercase character string. Then return. Then you can see. After that, from server, A, B, C, D, E, F, that is converted to the uppercase character string. And that is uh, closed. And that means that is uh, finished after completion of that uh, receiving and showing on the screen. And this one is uh, being used again to activate that. Then again, I can put in another uh, arbitrary character string here. Then I'll return again. Then also that is converting that lowercase character string to this uppercase character string because that is sent from the server. We learn in detail about this in the lecture PPT. Also about this in the lecture PPT. But briefly, let's look at here. First, the server side. This one is uh, using this import to uh, get some uh, required uh, modules. And after that, this one is using some server port. This server port that is using 16-bit, the maximum number is 65535. Thus, below that number, you can use any arbitrary uh, large number because a uh, low number like 1000, 2000, below that number, uh, those are being used for standardized uh, port number, thus they may be used. Thus, instead of that, uh, you can use some big number like this. And that port number, server port, that should be exactly the same, like this. If that is uh, another number, then that should be changed to that. And here, socket. Uh, this one is creating server socket in this way. This means address family internet and uh, socket datagram. Thus, this one is not TCP. With this one, we can understand this one is about UDP. And uh, after creating this server socket, we can use this primitive function uh, and uh, bind to bind. And after that, as I showed you already, some message will be out on the screen. And this one is uh, looping forever because this one is while one. And this one is getting some uh, data. Uh, the size is, buffer size is 2k byte through the so server socket that is created already. And here this one is getting the message sent from the server uh, client 
and the client address also to respond to that proper client address. Those are extracted from that, and after that, from this message, that will be converted to this uh, uh, uppercase character string using this uh, primitive function. And uh, finally, this one is uh, uh, modified message. That means that is uppercase character string. And after that, that will be sent. That character string, uh, converted uppercase character string, will be sent to that proper uh, client address that was extracted from this. And that will be sent using this primitive function or method, send to. And this one is looping forever, like this. Look at this uh, client-side program. And uh, similarly, this one is importing. And uh, here we are using uh, server name uh, localhost because we are using the same computer. This computer is doing this service as a server, or this one is being used as a client, thus this computer itself. That means that is localhost. If we are using other remote server, then we need some IP address. Then instead of this, we should provide that IP address here. And that server port, this should be same because we are uh, interacting to that uh, same uh, port number. Uh, that will be the used for socket uh, ID. And uh, here, client socket will be created in this way. Here, address family internet, as we used already in the server side here, uh, socket datagram. That means that is UDP, that is not TCP. And this message will be shown on the screen. This one is waiting for that input, input lowercase, as we observed already here, input lowercase sentence exactly like this and this one is sending after receiving that message that was here i wrote this one and that will be assigned to this message variable message and that is character string and that will be sent to the uh, server using this uh, send to primitive method through this client socket created here and here server name localhost, my computer itself, and the server port number, those are socket number. And if that is IP address, then this one should be IP address here. And also this one's port number, including them, those are called the socket number, socket ID. After that, through this socket, client socket, uh, this one is waiting for that uh, converted uh, to the uppercase character string from the server and the memory buffer size, waiting buffer size is 2k by, and using this primitive receive from function method, this one is receiving the modified message and the server address also, uh, and this one is showing out, uh, print out, this one from server UDP like this, and the, the modified message that will be shown here. And that's it. After that, this client socket that will be closed. Okay, in the same way, let's look at TCP client server program. Uh, this one is client program, and this one is server program. Uh, for this TCP, here this one is server program, and this one is client program. Let's uh, learn first the server uh, program using this command py server.py, then that will be executed. The server will be ready, like uh, our previous UDP example. Here, computer network, TCP server example. Computer network, TCP server example here. The message uh, will be shown here. And the server is ready to receive here. That will be printed out here. And also, let's look at this client side of this uh, TCP example. I will put in here python client.py tcp client program and I'll execute this one. Then uh, in the same way, this one is waiting for the lowercase character string. Uh, here, before that, this message will be shown, component of tcp client example here. And the uh, next one is the input lowercase sentence. After that, this one is waiting for that input from the user, from myself. Thus, so I'll put in a, b, a, any arbitrary character string doesn't matter. A, B, C, D, F, G. 
like this then I'll uh, return then server uh, is converting to the uppercase character string that will be sent to the client then simply this client is showing that out on the screen okay let's read this one first try to understand exactly the same import first and the server port number uh, here uh, same port number that should be here and if that is being changed then that will be executing in the same way because that port number will be used for the socket ID and the socket including IP address this one is address family internet and the socket trim this means that is about TCP instead of UDP thus we can differentiate between them previous example about UDP was this one is a datagram uh, that's different from this and but for TCP this is a stream and uh, we are using this bind uh, primitive method to bind server socket listen this is different from the UDP uh, server program this one is listening that is uh, welcome socket we learn and I'll explain in the, our lecture PPT and uh, as I showed you already print out messages are shown here and this one is also uh, looping forever here let's look at server socket is using this accept primitive method to create another socket thus this one is using another socket and the first one was created already that was uh, uh, welcome socket here that is created here that is called welcome socket and this one is waiting for that and after that there's any request from the client then this one will be created connection socket and this connection socket will take care of that client's request through that socket this, this receiver may be used don't k by 2k by 4k by it doesn't matter and through that uh, connection socket it is receiving that uh, uh, input sentence from the user from the client after that this one is converting to the uppercase using this upper primitive method then finally this capitalized sentence uppercase character string will be used to send here send back to the requesting client and through this connection socket after that connection socket will be closed but uh, look at this uh, welcome socket that is still there and it is waiting for other request from the client and let's look, look at this client uh, program for the TCP import here in the same way and localhost we are using localhost as I mentioned already if we are, we are using remote server then this one should be the remote server's IP address and the server port number that is that should be same to this server port uh, number and we are using this uh, uh, socket to create a client socket here uh, in the same way this uh, is for the TCP and the client socket using the client socket uh, we are using this connect primitive method uh, to connect that means this one is sending connection is establishment month to the server then welcome socket is uh, welcoming this request and here sim uh, similarly we can see the printed output here on the screen after that this one is waiting for the input from the user from myself input lowercase sentence here and I am putting this one then this sentence uh, variable is containing that character string that is uh, lowercase character string and uh, that will be sent to the uh, server uh, through this client socket and this client socket uh, this one is waiting for that using this receive uh, primitive method and the purpose size maybe 1k by 2k by or 4k by it doesn't matter and uh, finally the modified sentence that is the uh, converted uh, changed to uppercase character string as we observed already that will be shown using this print 
from, from server TCP like this message and that will be shown here. And finally, this uh, client socket will be closed after completion of that. And if we need uh, another request, then you can do that. Let's try again with the other character string. Then also you can see that is uh, converted to the uppercase character string and that conversion was done by the server and that is sent back to me and that is shown here. Okay, I'll wrap up uh, this uh, explanation here.